I did notice the sapphire and diamond ring that she's wearing now. I am trying to put one foot in front of the other. It's coming in waves. Yeah. It's very raw. That LAPD using the words home invasion robbery at this residence in the Encino area. Of course, if you recognize any of those suspects or that getaway vehicle, you are urged to call the LAPD. Um, have, have the culprits been caught? No, not yet. I don't believe so. Wow. PD's reporting there was a home invasion robbery at this home where Dory Ham Kemsley resides. Unpacking the drama. In a teaser for an upcoming episode of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Garcelle Beauvais hints at potential intrigue surrounding Dorit Kemsley's past robbery. The exchange occurs during a conversation between Garcelle and Sutton Strack, who notices a change in Kyle Richards' ring. Garcelle's comment about Dorit's jewelry post-robbery adds a layer of mystery to the unfolding drama. The snippet, released by Bravo, captures Sutton discussing Kyle Richards' new sapphire and diamond ring with Garcelle during an outing. Sutton points out the ring, and Garcelle seems surprised, asking if it's not Kyle's usual ring. In a confessional moment, Garcelle takes a sip of water and slyly brings up Dorit Kemsley's jewelry, particularly after a robbery incident. The context of Garcelle's comment suggests a connection between Kyle's ring and Dorit's past robbery, raising questions about the latter's experience during the incident. Garcelle's statement implies that despite generally not paying much attention to jewelry changes, she couldn't help but notice when Dorit retained hers after a robbery. I did notice the sapphire and diamond ring that she's wearing now. You know, it's funny because I get asked that question more times than I've ever had my whole life. I don't even know how Sutton even noticed that Kyle was wearing a different ring. I never pay attention to that. News, a Real Housewives star becomes the victim of a home invasion. The only time I noticed jewelry is when, after the robbery, Dorit still had hers. This commentary adds an intriguing layer to the unfolding drama within the RHOBH cast. Dorit Kemsley, a notable member of the RHOBH ensemble, has previously faced a home invasion and robbery. Garcelle's remarks open the door to speculation about the circumstances surrounding Dorit's experience and whether there might be more to the story. The tease sets the stage for a potentially dramatic the upcoming episode. The dynamics between the RHOBH cast members often involve personal lives and past events, such as Dorit's robbery, can become a focal point for discussions. Garcelle's comment hints at an underlying curiosity or suspicion about the aftermath of Dorit's robbery, and viewers are left eager to see how this subplot will unfold on screen. As RHOBH continues to deliver its signature blend of glitz, glamour, and real-life drama, Garcelle's remark adds a mysterious element to the ongoing narrative. Fans of the show will likely be on the edge of their seats, anticipating the revelations or confrontations that may arise as the storyline develops further. The Bravo reality series has a reputation for keeping viewers hooked with unexpected twists and turns, and Garcelle's comment is poised to contribute to the buzz surrounding this season's unfolding drama. Garcelle Beauvais' Cryptic Reference In a recent clip from RHOBH, Garcelle Beauvais stirred curiosity by making a cryptic reference to Dorit Kemsley's past robbery, sparking a closer examination of the October 2021 home invasion at Dorit's Encino, California residence. During an episode, the 57-year-old actress indirectly alluded to the robbery incident, leaving viewers intrigued about the details and potential implications for the ongoing drama within the show. The reference centers on Dorit Kemsley's encounter with three male intruders who broke into her home while she was sleeping with her two children, Jagger and Phoenix, as her husband, Paul P.K. Kemsley, was out of town. The Los Angeles Police Department confirmed the incident, revealing that the suspects took valuable items, including handbags, jewelry, and watches, resulting in a significant monetary loss for Dorit. I am trying to put one foot in front of the other. It's coming in waves. Yeah. It's very raw. Invasion robbery out here in the Encino, uh, in the Encino area, but it is a Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star. When they came in, are you able to like talk about that moment? I mean, you told me and like it immediately like basically bragging about the amounts of money and jewelry that she has inside her home. And then, well, but you know what? I, I have to keep things as normal as possible for my kids because 
I got really lucky. That LAPD using the words home invasion robbery at this residence in the Encino area. I've told this story obviously so many times. This is the first time and I have to be very careful because it is an ongoing investigation. The perpetrators made their escape in a black truck after the robbery. Garcelle's remark, the only time I notice jewelry is when after the robbery Dorit still had hers, adds an intriguing layer to the narrative. It suggests that despite generally not paying attention to jewelry changes, Garcelle couldn't help but notice Dorit retaining her jewelry post-robbery. This comment raises questions about the aftermath of the home invasion, the status of the stolen items, and any potential connections to current events on RHOBH. Dorit herself recounted the harrowing experience almost a year later during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen in May 2022. Describing the night of the robbery, she mentioned being in bed with her children, having just returned from London. Hearing the door unlock, a sound she associated with her kids entering the room, she initially dismissed it. However, she soon realized it was intruders when they didn't expect her to be home. And my kids didn't wake up, and they don't know anything about it. Um, the kids still don't know what happened. They do not. They don't. And I just came back from London, and... I was so jet-lagged and so exhausted, and I put my daughter to sleep in my bed. Of course, if you recognize any of those suspects or that getaway vehicle, you are urged to call the LAPD. I really need a good night's sleep, and I picked her up and I put her in her bedroom, and we were all so tired. And LAPD is reporting that there actually was a break-in here, a home invasion. These babies ended up sleeping through what their mother went through. In the face of the frightening situation, Dora prioritized her children's safety telling the robbers to take everything but not to harm her kids. Despite the traumatic incident, the robbers were not apprehended, leaving the case unsolved. Garcelle's indirect reference adds a new dimension to the unfolding drama on RHOBH. It suggests that Dorit's experience with the robbery may become a focal point of discussion among the cast members, potentially leading to revelations or confrontations. The mystery surrounding the stolen items and the perpetrators at large creates a backdrop for heightened tension and speculation. As RHOBH continues to blend real-life events with the show's signature drama, Garcelle's comment serves as a teaser, piquing the interest of viewers who are now eager to see how this aspect of the storyline develops. The Bravo reality series thrives on unexpected twists and turns, and the unresolved elements of Dorit's robbery offer rich material for future episodes, ensuring that the drama remains as captivating as ever. Dorit Kemsley's Harrowing Robbery Dorit Kemsley's traumatic experience during a home invasion takes center stage in Season 12 of RHOBH, providing a chilling backdrop to the reality series. The October 2021 robbery unfolded in real time during the show, offering viewers an intimate and harrowing look at the events that transpired that fateful night. The season premiered in the same month as the robbery, giving audiences an immediate insight into the aftermath and emotional toll on Dorit and her family. In a candid recounting during an episode, Dora detailed the frightening encounter with the intruders. When one of the robbers saw her, panic set in, leading to a confrontation. The assailant charged at Dorit, grabbing her and issuing threats. In her recollection, Dorit conveyed the intense and frightening experience during the home invasion. I told you the story and I know that you know I fought for my mine and my kids' lives. Uh, touch on what we saw you go through, Dorit. Can't imagine having to re-watch tonight's episode. For the days that followed, I just kept thanking God that I got out of there. It's definitely resurfacing a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting through it. They were very surprised to see me at home, very. And so when they did... Um, have, have the culprits been caught? No, not yet. I don't believe so. Wow. First of all, I was completely taken off guard. Um, she described the intruder's menacing words, stating, get down on the effing ground, I'm gonna effing slay you. In that distressing moment, she expressed being hunched over, sobbing, and making a heartfelt plea for her life, emphasizing her identity as a mother and the critical importance of her presence in her children's lives. The intruder's callousness reached alarming levels as one of them insisted on violence, shouting, just effing killer, just effing killer. The juxtaposition of Dorit's pleas for mercy against the aggressor's ruthless intentions intensified the fear and vulnerability she felt in that moment. 
Dorrit's dramatic account doesn't end with the threats directed at her. The robber's disregard for human life extended to a chilling scenario she envisioned, her own demise followed by the unthinkable harm to her children. The emotional weight of her narration captured the genuine terror and trauma inflicted on her during the invasion. They pushed me to the ground and they said, who else is in the house? Surveillance video truly is crystal clear. All three suspects caught on camera. I'm not going to use the curse words they used, but there was someone else who said, just kill her, just kill her already, just kill her. It's ongoing. Listen, first and foremost, I'm so grateful that myself and my family are safe. And all I could think was, I have to save these babies. I begged them, and I begged for my life, and I begged for their life. PD's reporting there was a home invasion robbery at this home where Dory Han Kemsley resides. I don't care about any of it. Take it all. I don't care about any of it. You can have it all, please. The decision to incorporate such a raw and personal incident into the reality series adds a layer of authenticity to RHOBH. It exposes the cast members' lives beyond the glitz and glamour highlighting the real-world challenges they face. In Dorrit's case, the robbery becomes a pivotal moment, shedding light on the vulnerability of even those living seemingly charmed lives. As RHOBH continues to unfold, the aftermath of Dorrit's robbery will likely reverberate through the season, influencing her interactions with other cast members and shaping the overall narrative. The show's commitment to depicting the unfiltered reality of its stars' lives ensures that viewers will witness the emotional aftermath and recovery from this traumatic event. The integration of Dorrit's home invasion story into the RHOBH storyline underscores the series' ability to navigate the intersection of reality and entertainment, creating a gripping narrative that resonates with audiences while emphasizing the shared humanity of its cast members. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.